Oh, there it is. That's the mic again. I don't know why I keep muting my mic for some reason. But hi, welcome back to 14 My Super Variants 2. Uh, we are once again back with Ultimate Mode. I mean, we've been doing Ultimate Mode for what? Three episodes now? This is the fourth one. And we're going to be looking at C, which is potentially the first roadblock we've ever seen in the game. Uh, the previous variants have all been decently okay so far. I think in Ultimate Mode, you do have to make some pretty interesting deductions. Um, especially in like you know, X. But it, it might be even worse for C, honestly. Okay, but let's take a look at C. The rules for C are that each... Uh, hold on, no, I think I should uh, introduce this a bit differently than, than the rule state. Okay, so in regular connected, not regular, in the first game connected, the mines really just had to like all touch each other, either adjacently, orthogonally, or diagonally. Um, and so these two connectors have an extension of that, where besides that initial connected rule, all orthogonally connected my regions are rectangles, so all your blocks are basically rectangular shapes. So you can see here all these rectangular shapes are there, which work, um, and singular mines are also counted as like one by one square, so they're, they're fine. Um, however, things like this uh, elbow piece here, or this, uh, is this an S or a Z? It's a Z. This Z tetrominal here does not count because it's not a rectangle. Yeah, so besides your initial rule of mines must all connect to each other diagonally or orthogonally, you also have your mines cannot form anything that isn't a rectangle, generally. Alright, so with that, let's take a look at some puzzles. We're starting off with like big numbers, wow. Alright, uh, how to do connect it? Let's use, let's use blue. Blue's a nice colour. Especially the dark colours. Purple is not bad as well. Um, okay, so... Uh, this 5 is definitely... Uh, Definitely what we're going to look at first. Um, I think in the first game, connected was something known as a mine... Um, it was a concentrated... Yeah, it was a mine concentrated variant because... Um, how, mine concentrated, uh, how mine concentrated variants are is that the more mines you have, the easier it is for uh, a, a condition to be fulfilled. So like for example, uh, horizontal is 100% just uh, mine concentrated because the more mines you have the more likely it is that mines are horizontally adjacent and therefore more likely that the entire thing will be fulfilled right uh, whereas in connected it originally was because the more mines you have the more likely they connected originally connected was a mine concentrated variant but now it's not because besides that you also have another um, rule set that sort of like prevents having more and more mines together and, and so it's a bit more like, yes, this one rule does make it so that the more mines you have, the more light is fulfilled. But with the more mines you have, the more likely they don't form rectangles either. The more mines you have, the more likely they are to make some interesting shapes like L shapes and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a more balanced variant as a result. Anyway, let's look at, look at this 5. Um, the first deduction you can make is that there must be two mines in here. And the reason why is if there were no mines in here, if there was one mine, sorry, then all four of these would be mines to fulfill, to fulfill the five, and therefore you form a shape that is not a rectangle. Um, I guess another better way of like trying to see how this works is, um, there are six total MP cells around five, and of them, five of them are mines, right? We know that there must be an empty cell here as a result. And the reason why is because if there weren't, there would just be this um, L or J tetrominal. So the empty cell must be here, meaning that there cannot be any empty cells here, and therefore these are both mines. Um, yeah, and also this can't be mine because you'd form a... Uh, what is it? You'd form a... non-rectangular piece. Sorry, my, my brain was not working there. Yeah, um, and so that is like one of the more normal deductions. This five thing is a pretty advanced deduction at this point, but... It's a thing that you have to use. Yeah, the fact that mine cannot be here is fairly trivial. And therefore, there's not a mine. Um, now, this three must see one more mine in here. And actually, we can now use regular connected rules. If there were a mine in here, then these are all empty, causing this mine to be isolated. So that can't happen. So that's not a mine. Uh, okay. I wonder... Uh, 
Yeah, what can I do here? It's one mine, one non mine. I guess I don't solve the three. If I did solve the three, it would actually be one mine plus two non mines that I can put down. So, but like sort of thinking about it, I don't think the answer is solving this three. Uh, might be this three though, because that's plausible. If you have a mine here, it would still work because you could extend out in one of these two directions to connect to this set over here. And in fact, is it true that one of these must be mines? I'm not entirely sure, but supposing none of them were mines. In that case, you wouldn't be able to go through this passage, would you? Because doing that would require three more mines breaking this tree. Therefore, this couldn't be a mine because if it did, you'd sort of need passage out. Putting a mine here and a mine there because this would need to come out. That's not a mine, that's not a mine as a result. There must be some mines here though which must pass through here and we do know at that point that there must be mines here, here and here. No, this is fine though. This is this is valid, I think. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, this is entirely valid. Also, I used mine count there even though it's not given. The mine count's actually here. You don't have to use that, I'm just seeing if that's valid or not. I'm pretty sure if this turned out to be invalid because of mine count, it wouldn't actually count me right anyway. Because you're not supposed to use mine count this early into the game. Um okay. Hmm, so probably not that. What else might it be? Oh, it's just this, isn't it? If this is a mine, then it would it would need to come out here. But in doing so, it would force a mine here, a mine here, and a mine one of these cells, which immediately breaks this three. So this can't be a mine. That's empty. Now we can place one mine. What? Where? I mean, if there are a mine here, it could just come out through here. That's fine. This is empty, then... Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's this 5 that I need to work with. Yeah, of course, it's the same thing, right? If this was empty, then you'd have a 3... You have a 3 size region that isn't a rectangle. So this has to be a mine. That is just like the easy... This is an extension of the initial deduction we made in the very beginning. So it's just a mine. Alright. <laughs> okay. Um, we might be able to solve this 3 now. How? Yeah, because I see that you, you do you deduce one mine and one non-mine, which is what the remaining cells of these three are composed are. Composed of, sorry. Um, let's do the uh, let's do contradiction. If there are mine here and no mine there, how would this four be solved? I, I mean, this is one possible solution which works. If it were the other way around... I guess this is always a mine, right? Yeah, because if this was not a mine, then you would have to have some number of mines here to commit the four. Even if you put a mine there, you would still need to have some mines here, which would automatically be isolated. So that's not possible. There's a mine there. And to not make a rectangular region, this can't be a mine. There you go. Alright, well that's definitely just empty. This has to extend out in some way, so that's a mine. And one of these are mines, which is fairly obvious. Um, okay, one of these have to be mines because this has to come out. It could be both. Suppose this was empty, then this would be a mine. That does resolve itself though. Right? Yeah. If this was a mine instead... Um... Then what? Then this would be empty. Well, interestingly enough, for this to get out here, you need to take minimally this cell and this cell, which then breaks because the 3 is now broken. So I guess this is not right, which means it would have to be the other way around? What? Oh, it could be both. Oh, that is interesting. Alright, so yeah, I think my initial uh my initial thinking was wrong then. Okay. So yeah, once again, it's not if this is a mine then that breaks. It is if this was not a mine, then it breaks. Because if this was not a mine, then this would be forced to be a mine. However, if this is a mine, then this could still be a mine which balances things out. Because this all does in fact connect. So it is in fact that the fact that this must be a mine. This must be empty as a result for the 5. Uh, there must be some number of mines here. If there were no mines here... Sorry, if this was a mine, yeah. Then these would both be empty which isolates it. So this can't be a mine. 2. Well there's only one mine here for the 3 at most. So there must be one mine here and no mine here. By regular mine sweep pattern, this must escape so that's a mine that isn't. 3 is now complete so that's a mine there. 2 means that's a mine and therefore no mines remaining means that's empty. 
that there you go wow yeah connected is tough it's like really really weirdly tough for some reason uh, anyway let's move on all right hmm one and two I mean, that's just regular Minesweeper, right? This is a mine, these aren't. Uh, because one of these has to be mines at least, which would fill, finish the one. Two means are both mines, which must extend out this way. The mine must go either here or there. So the three would be complete, therefore that's not a mine. There's also one mine in here for the one. And therefore for this three, these are both mines, meaning that's empty. Two is now complete. Three... Well, this must come out, right? Yeah, this must come out, escape in some way. That will complete this three, placing a mine there. This can't be a mine because it can't form a non-rectangular region. Three here. Now if there are a mine here, it will be isolated. So that's not possible. Three out of five mines remaining. We know there's exactly one mine in here for the three. Therefore these are both mines. This must now be empty to not form a rectangular region. Two is complete, therefore that's a mine. That was way easier. What? That was way, way easier. There was no like there was no weird fives or anything like to work with. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can find some interesting patterns here besides just the fact that mines can't form rectangular regions. That's the more interesting part of connector, honestly. So because mines come from all three of these being mines, uh, this has to be a mine. One means this has to be empty because if it were, it would just be isolated on its own. One one is just regular minesweeper. This has to come out in some way because there's some mines here, right? I mean, you can prove that there have to be some mines in this region, uh, which means that this mine must come out to connect to that. 2, 3 means that they differ by exactly 1, so this region has exactly 1 mine, therefore those are not mines. This has to be a mine because whatever mine is here has to exit out this way, so that's a mine. Now, one of these are mines, one of these have to be mines. I mean, this region is just completable, sorry. Therefore, that's empty. That's empty because you can't form a non-rectangular region. 4, 3. Oh, this is just a 2, 1 pattern, right? Yeah, this 4 is basically a 2 in this region. This 3 is basically a 1 in this region. Well, 1 in this region. So you have a 2-1 pattern over there which gives you that. Uh, one of these are mines, but it can't be this because then you'd have a non-rectangular region. 3 is not complete, that's a mine. This has to escape somehow, so this has to be a mine at the very least. Because if it wasn't, then yeah, this would just be isolated on its own. Giving you that. 3 means that's a mine, therefore that's not a mine. Oh, you don't, you don't actually need mine count. They never give you mine count at all in this entire puzzle. Ta-da! Alright. Yeah, so, um, like, from now on out, Connected isn't really about Connected anymore. Then it is just about, you know, um, rectangles and stuff. Um, it is still about Connected somewhat, but we don't use, like, the, uh, you don't use the normal tricks that regular Connected had. I have a, I have a video where I go through Connected for a bit. Um, there are a lot of things like, uh, bottlenecks and choke points, and you do, you, you do see some of them here. Like, in the very beginning when I said I might have to come out through here, that's considered a choke point slash bottleneck. Uh, same for going through this point. But it's not as prominent in two connected because you have an additional rule of rectangular regions. Uh, wow, that's a lot of deductions you can make. Anyway, let's go with C6. Alright, so one is trivial, that's not a mine. All oh, these are mines. Two, three. Uh, could be useful. I mean, if this, if this is a mine... No, it, you have to deduce a mine. Right, it has to be this one. By rectangular region, if this is empty, then these are all mines forming a non-rectangular region. So that's a mine. Zero means that means that. One, two means they differ by one, so that's not a mine. Four, well, all four can't be here, so that's a mine. Similarly, the remaining three can't all be here, so that's a mine as well. Uh, now, interestingly enough, this can be a mine, because you can form a two by two rectangular region. Uh, and that wouldn't break, I'm pretty sure. Because you, have, you could have this, and this, yeah. That's fine. You can make a lot more progress with the 6-3 for some reason. Yeah, well, I guess now it can't be these two being mines for the 3, right? So this has to be a mine at the very least. Yeah, because otherwise you'd form this T-shape, which doesn't work. Uh, also, one of these are mines for the 3, which would complete this 3, so none of those are mines. Those are both mines for the 4, that's empty, therefore this is empty by a non-rectangular region. Uh, this has to be empty by a non-rectangular region as well. And one more non-mine to be found. Is it a rectangular region? I don't think it is. Hmm. 
gonna be like this mine for some reason. If our mine was here, then these are all non mines, which gives you a rectangular region. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So this can't be a mine. Uh, what do you think that the chances that this actually is a question mark? Like, what are the chances you think that this gives you no information at all? It is a pretty interesting deduction, but it's not very useful. Unless it gave you more information. If a mine was here, then you'd automatically get a non rectangular region. It was in fact a question mark. It was a useless thing to calculate. That's okay. Anyway. Yeah, the 4 is the only useful number that we got from that. Anyway, uh, how does 4 work? Well, we know one of these are mines at least. Doesn't really help. Well, let's consider this one, right? Suppose this is empty. Hmm, not really, I mean... This being empty would in fact isolate things, but you could make a mine here. This being empty would also isolate things, but you can also put a mine there. That's fine. And then also, if this was empty, then this would have to go this way, but that's also fine because you could do something like this, and that just works. Right? Yeah, that just works. Hmm. Maybe this? If this is a mine, then... However, it needs to go out in one of these two directions to connect to connect back, right? That would complete the four, meaning this will be empty. And that sort of breaks because we already said if this is empty, the only way out is here and here. Which means this would not be a mine. So, like, I guess um, one way we could say is that having a mine here and having a non-mine here is not possible. These, these, these two can't exist at the same time. And since a mine here would cause this to exist, that just doesn't work. So there can't be a mine there. Another way to think about it is... Another way to think about it is that, by contradiction, after this point, this would have to be a non-mine. This would have to escape out this way as a result. And now because you can't form non-rectangular regions, this is non-mine as well, which isolates this set of mines here. So by contradiction, that also works. But uh, in my original deduction, I was using previously obtained information. That's just not a mine. Okay, one mine remains to be found. I mean, I don't think it's anywhere down here because there's, there was no additional information given. So it's probably up here, right? Yeah, if this is not a mine, then you automatically cause these both to be mines which gives you a non-rectangular region. So that has to be a mine. One means that's empty, so that's a mine. That's empty by non-rectangular region. Same here, that's not a mine. Therefore, that's a mine. Uh, and we have more to do? What? Oh, it's, is it this? No, it's this. Yeah, this just has to come out because if not, it would actually isolate like a lot of mines on the side. So that's a mine, and this is not by rectangular region. And 3 out of 4 remaining. Or we can use it here, these can't all be mines. So these can't all be mines, meaning there must be a mine there. There must be no mine here, and the last two mines must be here and here. Cool. Yeah, actually I would say 2C is a much better improvement compared to 1C. I like it a lot more. From the fact we make rectangular regions other things. It's not very really rectangular, but you do see a lot of two by ones. Let's keep going. Ah, five. Oh, we've seen this exact pattern before. We know that as a result, these are both mines, and so is this. By you know, just regular analysis of patterns. That's not a mine. One one is regular minesweeper. Uh, what? You can make a deduction here. Hmm. Where? I guess this then? Yes, okay, this, yeah, okay, it's very interesting, but this can't be a mine. The reason why is because if it was, then we can use contradiction. If this was a mine, this must be empty because of the one, then one of these two have to be mines. Now, whichever was the mine would break the rectangular rule immediately. If this is a mine, you'd immediately get a non mine, which you can't fix by putting a mine here because of this cell. But if this was a mine, then this must be empty to prevent your rectangular region. However, in the process, it would also form its own rectangular, non-rectangular region. And so what that means is that none of these being mines would work, which would then force this. Hmm. I mean, that would work though. Why, why would that not work? Uh, 
Not entirely sure, but now that I look at it, right, I think I can make some deduction about this cell. Yes. I, I, I just scanned through all the possibilities. If this is a mine, then we already proved that this is a mine, therefore this is empty. Um, there are two possibilities if this was a mine. <laughs> if this is a mine, you either have this being a mine as well, which would then force this to be empty by rectangular region because of this cell, or, or if this is a mine and this is not, then this has to escape somehow, which means it has to come up to here, and therefore you have to form your 2x2 two two region, which means that this will always not be a mine. So by comparing these three possible states, yeah, this is in fact not a mine. Um, let's keep going with contradiction to see why this couldn't be a mine. Suppose this was a mine, then this would be empty. Because one of these would have to be mines, you have to escape out this way. One of these would have to be mines as a result. Ah, and because of that, because one of these have to be mines, they all have to be mines to form your rectangular region. How would that then fail? It's because none of these are mines because uh, you know, because of this cell here, you can't form a rectangular region by extending outwards. So there you have it. This is not a mine. <laughs> now that was actually useful information though. It actually gave me some useful numbers. Okay, 2-4. Two, 2-4 four. Two, four means that there are two mines in this region. But those two mines can't be here and here because you then have a non-rectangular region. So this must be a mine. Which means by 2-by-2, two by, two, uh, by rectangular region, that's also a mine that's empty. This can't extend out in any way, so that's a mine there. Now two mesos are both mines, meaning that isn't a mine by rectangular region. That's also empty, and now this must come out this way, so that's a mine. That's a lot of cool things we can do. Three means that's also a mine, but it doesn't really help us. Three means this now can't be a mine because then we isolate it, so that's a mine. Three mines remaining, wow, we can do things with this? Okay. Yeah, I suppose let's think about it. If this was empty, then a mine would have to be here. But also, this would have to come out this way, right? And if it did, the only way to get to one of these two cells is by going straight up, the shortest way. And in doing that, you'd already use four mines total. So it doesn't work, meaning that the mine has to be here and not there. And we can make two more deductions from here. Hmm. I guess it might be the fact that... Hmm, no. I mean, this has to come out this way. Yeah, this has to come out this way, and this has to come out this way. That's not entirely true, it could just be blocked off so that this could come out this way. But okay, we do know in fact that there is uh, one mine in here. Because if there were none, it would be isolated, and if there were two, there would be a non-rectangular region. So there's exactly one mine in here. Now we have two more possibilities to work with. Either, there is some number of mines here. Or, there are no mines here, right? In option number one, which is the blue option, a mine here and a mine here would complete the two remaining mines, meaning these would all be empty. But in option two, any mine over here, trying to get down to here, would only ever be able to reach this cell in particular. Because going any further requires to use more mines because you can't reach from this side, and therefore none of these are mines either. So in both cases, these are both empty. Ta-da! And in fact, that was a useful deduction to make. Alright, next. These are both non mines by regular Minesweeper. One of these are mines, therefore... Well, we also know one of these are mines. Well, because one of these are mines, it can't be here, otherwise you would isolate it. So it would have to be here, and not here. Now this can't be a mine, and therefore that's solved. Ta-da! Oh, 2S! Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, this is the biggest rectangle we've seen so far, actually. You do get some pretty big rectangles. Um, okay, let's keep going, though. That's a mine. Uh, I can make so much more here. There's at least one mine there. Hmm. Maybe is this four? If this is empty, you'd have to have a mine here and here. That's fine. Right? Or is it? If this is empty, you'd have to have a mine here and here. No, if this is empty, you have to have a mine here and here. This four requires no uh it requires that no these kind of three mines in it. Therefore there must be a mine here and that breaks two. So this must be a mine. Therefore there's exactly one mine here. I guess another way to think about it, if there was a mine here then this would have to happen. This would have to happen. Yeah, and then you have a mine here here. Okay, fair enough. Um okay. If this is empty, then you can have three mines here, so you have to have a mine here and here. 
There is exactly one mine here, so none of those are mines. Not sure though. There's exactly one mine here, right? But for the fort, there's also one mine in here. Because these can't all be mines. Otherwise you have a non-rectangular region. Okay, I think we have two uh, two options then. Either they overlap, or they don't. If they don't overlap, then you'd get a situation that looks like this. Uh, this four, I'm not entirely sure how that works out. That, that's just it, isn't it? Okay. Um, whereas in purple, if this happened, this can't be a mine. By a rectangular region, this can't be a mine because of the three. Also by a rectangular region. I suppose then, for this to escape, one of these has to be mines. And because one of these has to be mines, that would complete the two meaning none of those are mines. And so in all cases, none of these are mines. Wow. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, so we can say therefore if there's one mine here, there has to be one mine in there. Does it really help though? Does that help? Suppose, yeah, if there were a mine here, we could put a mine there. Oh, sorry, this has just come out. What am I doing? That's like the easiest deduction we can make. That's empty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has to be a mine now, because if it were not, you'd have all these be mines, which is a the rectangle region. There you go. I don't know why it took so long. I feel like that's just... I mean, something I see. Alright, so I guess connected is really useful in 2C now. <laughs> uh, 4. Like, uh, yeah, okay, this is regular minesweeper. These are both mines, and these are both non-mines. So there's exactly two mines in here. There's also exactly two mines in here. Um, this must not be mine, because if it wasn't, then these are all mines, which breaks rectangular rule. So that's a mine. Uh, 3 means there's exactly one more mine here that could be this too, so that's empty. Um, one mine remaining to be found. If this is a mine... No, it can't be here, because if it were here, you would be able to deduce one of each. So no. Uh, I'll have to tell you to do this one then. Actually, no, might be this one? No, I don't know. But yeah, we can't deduce anything here by metalogic. Suppose this is empty. You'd have this. I guess that almost somewhat kills things off. But you could do this. And that. That's plausible. I don't know why that isn't. Why, why would that not be plausible? That's fine. That's fair. Uh, okay. Suppose now if this is not a mine, then this must be a mine to extend things out. Oh, wow. Yeah, if this is not a mine, then this has to be a mine to prevent your, uh, to prevent this connection. Then this would have to be a mine, therefore this would be a non-mine, and therefore that would result in its own de uh, disconnection as well. So this has to be a mine. That is so, that is so convoluted, but okay. Uh, this 2-4 is another similar pattern. There's one mine here for the 2, so that completes the 1. 0 means that's not a mine, therefore that is. 2 means that's a mine, therefore that isn't my rectangular rule. That's not a mine, that is. This has to come out, which means this. I mean, also this has to just come out here. Yeah, so that's a mine, that isn't. 3 means that's empty, therefore 1 mine remaining means that's a mine. Ta-da! Okay. Yeah, connection is gonna be like one of the tougher things that I'm gonna have to do. Uh, yeah, let's go for C7. I want to be able to work with 1, uh, 8 by 8 by the time we get through this. Okay, 3, that has to be a mine. I mean, this could be a mine to form your 2x2 two two area. So, yeah, if this is a mine, this is a mine giving you something that looks like this. Oh, but in this case, that would isolate it. So, I guess the 2x2 two two area isn't possible then. I mean, these are both mines. Uh, okay. Two mines I can find. How are there two mines I can find? Well, it's probably this three and this three. Yeah. If this is empty, you'd have no mines here. So that's a mine. And then similarly, if this is empty, there are no mines here. So this has to be a mine. Four with two. These can both be mines, so there has to be a mine here. Therefore, that's empty. Four again. I mean, what are these are mines? What are these are mines? Not really that helpful though, I'm, I'm pretty sure I used a 4. Hmm. 
This is something like, if this is a mine, then I guess these are all empty, which means what? Which means that, which means that, which means something, I don't know. Maybe it's one of these mines? If this is a mine, then these are all empty. Would I isolate things? I don't see any real isolation though, because this could just come out this way. Maybe this? That happened. Oh, that breaks for some reason, I guess. If this happened, then this would be empty, this would be empty, this would be a mine, this would be empty by rectangular rule, this would be both mines, which breaks the fall by rectangular rule. So yeah, I guess this is not a mine. And then I guess this is now not a mine by rectangular, so there you go. Six, wow, six. Uh, I mean, if this is empty, how would that work? It just wouldn't, because these would then all be mines, which would clearly break, so that's a mine. That means those are all non-mines? So we can do something similar, if this is empty, then these are all mines which breaks. Which means that's that's uh, that's done, that's empty. So these are both mines. Is a 6 always just 2 3 three by 1s? Is it? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, this has to be a mine that's empty, therefore. 2 means that's empty, 3 means that's empty. I'm gonna try speeding up. These are all mines, which... Okay, cool, I'll take it. These must be non-mines as well by rectangular. Uh, this has to connect to here at the very least, so that's a mine, therefore that's empty. Three mines remaining are all mines. Ta-da! You have your first big rectangle, it's a 6x1. Um, rectangles do get fairly big though, so... This 6x1 is really nothing compared to what you might be able to see in 8x8. Alright, let's keep going. I'm gonna try speeding up again. 3 is just complete. 5 is somewhat similar, but not really. If this is empty, how would 5 be completable? Uh, it would be like this, so yeah, it's plausible. And then diagonally symmetrical is also plausible. Okay. One of these are mines? No. Okay, if this is a mine, I think that fails. If it were a mine, then this would have to be empty by rectangular. Uh. uh no, wait a minute, no. Yes, yes. In fact, yeah, this just has to be a mine. Because if it were empty, how would this 5 be fulfilled? There are 6 total mines, so one of them has to be empty. But whichever is, whichever side does not have the empty cell would have 3 mines forming this sort of pattern, which fails. So this just has to be a mine. Maybe that's empty. And now one of these are mines. Can we figure out which? Well, if this is a mine, then you'd have this, which wouldn't really do much. Except this 5 maybe? Yeah, these are both mines as a result. But I don't think that does anything for me. Okay. I mean, we are looking for A mine, so... I guess we are supposed to try and deduce if something was empty, how would things work out? For example, if this was empty, how would things work out? Very likely it's just these mines in total. But I don't really see anything wrong with that. If this is empty, if this is empty, no, that's just diagonally symmetrical. I mean, if this is empty, you can't have mines here, 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 and here, so you'd have to have a mine there. And then four mines in here actually means that there can't be mines here, here, and here, which would force this and this. Also that, as a result. Is it the same the other way around? If this was empty, then this has to be a mine. And then you'd have this, this, and this. Which does seem to work. I don't see how anything's wrong there. Yeah, I think that just does work. So... Nothing here either? Is this four? That's empty. No, that 4 is in fact still a 4. It is fulfilled as a 4. What? What? 
what is the what is the what is the what is the deduction I can make? I mean, I suppose I want to try looking at this. If this was empty, then how the five would work is that this has to be a mine, then this has to be a mine. Mine. You'd have something that looks sort of like this. And then three will be very interesting, I suppose. Uh but no a lot of a lot of connections can still form. If this is a mine though, that sort of doesn't really work then, yeah. But in this case, this would just be empty. Doesn't really do much for me. I guess the 4 requires 2, which means that has to be a mine. What? What is this? What is this? No. No, 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 this does not make any sense. Um, okay, I, I don't know if I want a hint or not. I might just take a hint. That cell? I mean, we just looked at it. If this is a mine, sorry, if this is empty, I guess. Then these can't all be mines, so you have to have, to have a mine. What? Oh. Uh, okay, something very weird happened. You can't have all these be mines, therefore this has to be a mine. Also, these can't all be mines, so this has to be a mine. I guess that somewhat breaks. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Why does that break? Might be the three? Yeah, there has to be some number of mines here, right? Because otherwise you'd have this entire thing happen. Therefore, you'd have to have one mine here, which means these are both non-mines. This 5, therefore, would be forced in one possible position, which I think is just that. Okay. That would complete the 4, which means that. How would that break? I mean... Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess that just does break because of this. It doesn't have to do with the 5, it's just that. Alright, fine. I suppose so. I suppose that means that there just has to be a mine there. That's so weird and so unnecessary, but I guess that's ultimate mode. Sure. Anyway, this 5 is I think just complete. Yeah, these are both mines, therefore. This is empty. This is empty. This has to... No, this does not have to come out. But I do think this can't really come out here. Can it? We sort of have this, which is fine. All these mines, this is empty. I mean, that does break the 5 though. So I guess it can't really just come out here, so that's a mine. Alright, 2, 4 means that's a mine, therefore this 5 is complete. This 4 is complete, so that's empty. 2 means that's empty. Alright, and we're back on track. Let's just do this normally. 4 means more of these are mines. Oh, it's the same. Oh, it feels like the same thing over and over again. Uh, there's 2 mines in here. This is 4. If this is a mine, then you'd have something that looks like this. This two can't see both those as mine, so this has to be a mine. And this has to be a mine. That would give you this being empty. Which almost breaks. It almost doesn't connect. But it does very barely connect out through here exactly. I mean, okay, I suppose this 3 means that these are both mines. Yeah, and that does in fact break because now it is in fact broke, uh, disconnected because of the 3 which saved the day. And so what that means is that I'm pretty sure there cannot be a mine in that cell. Yay, okay, so there's a mine there. No mine there. This 2 can't have mines here and here because that will be non-rectangular, so I have, have, have a mine there. This 2... Uh, not sure. Maybe this 4 and this 3. If this is a mine, then these are both empty. Then these are both mines. Does that break? No, because this could because uh, because yeah, they are still all connected. Except maybe here. No, this this works. This just does work. This is the thing that works. Okay. I guess suppose if this was not a mine, if this is if that happened, then this has to happen. But what are we trying to connect though? Like, what are we trying to connect? This happens. Then I guess 
this has to be a mine, which works. It's weird. Yeah, so I, I think we've tried everything with that. This might be some time to look somewhere else. Yeah, these are both almost 1 2. It's almost a 1 2 pattern, but not really, because this 2 can see a bit more than the 1, which gives it that much leeway. If this is empty though, how would that work? Then this has to come out through here. And this in fact becomes a 2 1 pattern, so you have this. Which means that. This must now come out here, so that's a mine, so that's empty. Ah, I guess that does in fact isolate it then. So what was, it that, what was the thing there? This being a mine, definitely? Okay. And so is this actually a 1-2 pattern now? No, it's a 1-1 one, one pattern. There's one mine in here and one mine here. I mean, we can probably do something with that though. If this was a mine, for example, these are both empty. And this is a mine. No, but it also connected, so it doesn't really change much. Yeah, wherever you put a mine in here would always be connected to the main structure. So that's fine. If this is a mine, then this happens, which is that, which is fine. If this is a mine, then one of these are mines, which means this is empty. Uh, no. No, wow, what? Oh, there's still more stuff to figure out. If this is a mine, then that's empty. That's empty, that's empty. That's a mine. Um, this has to come out, so that's a mine. Mean, that's empty, mean, that's a mine. But this works, right? Yeah, this works. I think. Uh, okay. Is it, is it here or is it here? Or is it like here? We already tried this, didn't we? We already tried this. If this is a mine... Oh, yeah, I guess if this is a mine, this doesn't work then. Because these will all be empty and they were isolated, so this can't be a mine. There you go. Okay, I think we can resolve this pretty well now. Yeah, 4 out of 5 mines remaining with one mine here means that these are all mines. Therefore, this must escape, so that's a mine that isn't. Jeez. Okay, finally. Wow, that was really something, wasn't it? Oh. Alright. Yeah, that's why I said this is gonna be this is gonna be really tough. Seven mines? I mean I guess I can do this and this and this and this actually back connect. I think no no, that was a triplet thing. Yeah, so by regular rectangular region this has to be a mine and same for here. Now if this can't be a mine, because if it was, then putting a mine in either of these spots to finish the fall would make it a non rectangular region. So it's definitely just empty. Giving you that. Okay. Uh, if these are both empty, how would that affect things? This 5 is still completable though. Or is it? Or is it? How would you complete this 5? This has to be a mine. This has to be a mine. This can't be empty, so that's a mine. This can't be empty, so that's a mine. But now this isn't a mine which isolates it. So actually, this situation is not possible, meaning that you can't actually just block it off here. You'd have to stand out this way. Now that's empty. And this 5... Uh, this is a mine, this is a mine. One of these mines means it's empty, it's empty, which is fine. If this extended out, then this will have to extend out, give you that. And then I guess this. Yeah, I don't see much else I can do here. It's just where I can place a mine. Like, for example, if this was empty, then. If this is if this is um, empty though, then there have to be some number of mines here which have to come out here. So you have this and this, but I guess something like this could happen. Oh, it's this one. If this is empty, then this has to be a mine because if it wasn't, then these are all mines which breaks. But if this is a mine, it is automatically isolated. So that has to be a mine. All right, there you go. So now that's a mine. Which must I skip out here so that's not a mine, therefore that's not a mine either. Uh, one, two. There's one mine here and one mine here, so that's empty. One. What the? What? What? That's really weird. Um, I think it's this one. If this is a... Mm, oh, hold on. If this is a mine, 
by the 3 and the 1, these would all be empty. That does allow it to go out here, but like, very barely? It's mine. If this happened... This could still come out here. Oh, but I guess if that happened, then you'd isolate this. So in fact, that is true for the mine being here, 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 and here. You'd always have these be empty. Oh, but the 3 could have a mine there though. This is only prevented if a mine was here. So I guess this is a cell that is important. Because if you had a mine here, then these would be empty. But you could still have a mine here for this to connect back. Right? Hmm, never mind. Oh no, yeah, this works. Yeah, this does work. Mm. If this is a mine, can we do anything similar? Not really, no, because everything still looks plausible. Yeah, everything's still... Oh, oh, look at that. I found the disconnection. <laughs> Took me a while, but that means that this isn't a mine. Yeah, I don't wanna know I don't know if I wanna keep doing this. Like if you had a mine here, then you now these are mines which I mean if this is empty, maybe that's more useful. Because now that one of these has to be mines, which means these are also empty as a result. Yeah, in fact, for this to actually come out here, it is considered a bottleneck or a choke point because these are both mines as a result, which then breaks because this has to come out through here and can only do so by this singular passage. So this can't be a mine. What? Oh, it doesn't have to exit because it already connects here. Oh, wait, what? Oh no, I I was considering if this was empty, not if this was a mine. Oh, okay, then well, I clicked it wrong then. Yeah, my, my deduction does mean that this has to be a mine exactly, so. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll do your stuff, okay? I'll do it. Yeah, this is your mine. Uh, uh, okay. It's empty. Yeah, so we've proven this and this. We've proven that this has to be a mine. So that's empty. Okay, jeez. So that's empty. Now what? We have one of each remaining. If this is a... If this is a mine... You'd have this, and this, and this. That works. If this was a mine... Then... I guess you'd have this, which also works. And it were the other way around. I guess if these were both empty... Like, if this happened, to happen. No, that's still plausible though, it's all possible. Right? I don't see the... I don't see why this would not be plausible. Yeah, this is entirely fine. What if this was empty? What if as a mine he has to come up through here? Because it can't go through here. Otherwise these are both mines. So it means this has to be a mine, which means these are empty. Which means that's a mine, which means that's a mine. But this again is entirely plausible. Okay, if this is a mine. Maybe that? No, because then the same thing happens. We have this. This just, just, just works. I feel like it always comes down here for some reason, but not necessarily. Because something like this could happen, in which case there is no need to come here at all. Well, this has to come out here, right? Does it not? Because if it doesn't, then it would have to come out through here, which you already know is not possible by choke point. Oh, so choke point finally comes into play. Oh my goodness, this is the first time in Connected that choke point is ever a thing.
Anyway, that does mean this is a mine, this isn't. Okay, finally. One mine here, that's more normal deduction. That's a mine, that's a mine. Three, well, there's one mine here for this to come out, so those are non mines. One, two means that's a mine that isn't. These can't both be mines, so there's a mine there, therefore that's empty. Two means those are non mines, therefore that is, therefore that's empty. Three means one of these are mines, which has to be the one that is uh, connected to the outside. Four mines remaining, what? I think this has to extend then. Yeah, connected is very interesting in that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because if it didn't extend, there's only one mine here and one mine in here. How would you fulfill that? Well, that would almost force this to happen because there's one mine in here. But wherever you put your next mine would definitely just fail. So this just has to happen, which means that's empty. Now this has to come out here, which means that's empty. And I think we've solved the puzzle. Nice. Alright, well, that was definitely something. Have I spent an hour on Connected already? Yeah, this is tough. Nice puzzle though, really cool. Okay, well, I guess that marks the end of Connected. I'll try and get all this red text uh, so we can move on to Deviation. Yeah. Uh, but until then, I think I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.